everyone welcome back to my channel this is Celeste from Shelly's creation for today's tutorial we are going to make a peppermint candy ornaments for Christmas before I forget if you are new to my channel please don't forget and subscribe and click the notification bell to get updated all my videos for this project we need two colors of yarn size 4 hook size 4 mm one pieces of bead yarn needle scissor and pulley fill now if you are ready let's get started let's start with a slip knot then we are going to make a chain of 20 now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty for the first row we are going to decrease the stitches now we're gonna insert our hook on the first chain then insert again on the second chain and make a decrease stitches here and now we're gonna make a single crochet in every stitches all the way to the end of this row now we have two stitches left here we are going to make a single crochet and on the last chain we gonna increase our stitches but before we finish the stitches we need to change our color here now make a chain one then turn your work and we are going to make a stitches on the back loop only we need to increase here since we have increased stitches on the first row and the second row we gonna do an increased stitches on the first chain then we're gonna continue making a single crochet all the way to the end of this row but remember we are working on the back loop only until we finish our work so we continue all the way to the end of this row once we have two stitches left here one two we gonna decrease our stitches insert on the second to the last and on the last stitches and draw up the loop so that's our decrease stitches chain one then turn your work since we have a decrease stitches on the previous row we are going to make a decrease stitches on our third row just one decrease stitches and now we continue making a single crochet in every stitches here so 
So continue your stitches and I meet you on the last, last stitches of our row. Now we have one stitches left here. So we're gonna do an increase stitches. In the last stitches of our single crochet, we are going to change the color before we close the single crochet stitches here. Then chain one, turn your work. Since we have increased on the last row, we are going to make an increase on the first stitches of the fourth row. Now we have one and make another single crochet for the increased stitches. Then do one single crochet in every stitches. Continue making this and I'm going to meet you at the end of this row. As you can see, we have increased on the right and we have decreased on the left. Now we have two stitches here. We are going to make a decrease stitches. Draw up the loop, then make a chain of one and turn your work. Since we have decreased on the previous row, on this row we are going to make one decrease stitches. Then continue making one single crochet in every stitches all the way to the end of this row and I'm gonna meet you there. Now we are going to continue making a decrease and increase. As you can see with these changing colors here we need to increase our stitches and on the right side we need to go a decrease. So we're going to continue this all the way to 30 rows. Now, as you can see, we have a slanting projects here. And we have 16 pairs of our stitches. Then we are going to cut the yarn, but make sure you have more than enough to use for our sewing. And now we are going to sew both ends of our project. So we're gonna start on this side by sewing in every stitches and make sure that when you stop your rows you do need to make a stop with the same color or else when you close this here one of your color gonna be wider than the rest so make sure that when you start on the red one and you gonna end on the yellow or whatever color that you like to work on this project then you can see the finished product that we have alternation of colors here now we're gonna keep continue making this and i'm gonna wait you at the end of these stitches
and now we are done sewing both ends the next thing that we are going to do is to close this area here by sewing the edges around Once we are done, we need to pull the yarn. As you can see here, one side of our project is already closed. And make sure that there's no gap in between. So you need to make it tighten your yarn. Pull it tight like this to make sure that there's no hole inside and secure the yarn. then before we close the other gap we need to fill up the polyfill inside you don't need to fill up too much just a little bit around here then continue sewing this side
make sure that the follicle inside is even after that we gonna make a chain for hanging purposes Now we are going to make a chain of 25 for our hanging purposes. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And now going back to the first chain and secure the yarn. Once we are done for our hanging chain, we are going to make our tassel. For this tassel, we gonna wrap around to our fingers 20 times. If you think that this is very thick, you can also wrap around 15 times. Then, we gonna cut the yarn. And now, we are going to tie it up. And now we can cut on one side. Once you done your tassel, we gonna get the bead and then attach it to the tassel. Once your tassel is done, we are going to connect to the base and secure the yarn.
now your peppermint candy christmas ornaments is ready to use thank you for watching lovelies see you in my next video bye